Ruth here, and this is the next Crafter's Companion bulk order haul video, whatever. So currently this is order number three. I'll show you the front of the paper. There is kind of amusing. I had to get, well I had to open it to actually see which order it was because on the, uh, when they give out the tracking email number, when I give out the tracking number in an email, they didn't actually they didn't actually say which order it relates to. They just give you a tracking number and say order is one of So I had open each one and I wrote down which order it was so I can open it in order. Hmm. And also I could tick off which ones that actually had arrived so I can, you know, for my list. So this is the first order. We have, besides the, uh, the general, oh, thank you for your order thing, as well as the order thing. But, um, so, the freebie for this, because I ordered this during the 4th anniversary thing, is the Crafters TV Crystal Pen. I could not order it, you know. So, this is Super Sparkly. Yes. Super Sparkly. So, um, how does it work? Yes, it's just twisty. So you just twist. And, shall we see how juicy this is? Ooh, very smooth and juicy. Lovely. Lovely pen. I shall keep this with my, uh, well, I'll either keep it over there with my pens or I'll keep it next to my laptop with my pen. Anyway, so I'll just put it there for now. So next up, we have the Decadent Diamond and Regal Rectangle, five pieces each, 3D embossing folder and dies. So I couldn't resist because I don't actually have any nesting dies, I don't think anyway. I don't think so. So here we have the diamond or square. So we're gonna that way. And the embossing folder that looks like that. And this is the rectangle. If I would have waited another day or two, they would have come out with a set. Yeah. Included the circle too, but I didn't wait, so I'll get that another time maybe. This is a 6 by 4 inch, which is 15.2 by 10.2 centimeters, folder size. And those clips are here on the back. See, I could have got the circle. Anyway, that goes to show I should have looked. Yeah. Um, anyway, so, um, yes, it looks very pretty. That frame, for some odd reason, reminds me of TV show Friends. But anyway, it's very pretty. I guess I'll show you close up. Is the rectangle dies. And here is the embossing folder. It's got a Gemini by Crafters Companion printed on it. So I'm guessing it doesn't really matter which way you use the front part of what you're decorating, but I'm guessing. 
supposed to be this way? Would be the front? Oh, this, this side has recessed. And this is raised. Going up. Oh, the other way. Okay. And then for raised here. So that means it raised. Like if it was this way, the raised part would be, I guess, on that side. So if you put it in this way, if you want to use the raised part side, I mean, if the pattern paper or whatever isn't double sided. Anyway, that's my guess. I've never used them before yet, so. Yes, I do need to sometime actually get around to buying my storage things so I can actually store them properly. But for now, there. And the main order is that I got the set of the glitter glues. So here's the festive frost glitter glue set, three piece. Very, very sparkly. So that's the red, green, and white. This one. And then we've got kind of like a pastel -y colors. So there's, well, precious pastels is what it's called. So you got another kind of like a lavenderish or pinkish. Oh, lavender dreams it's called. Then there's got winter or something, which is like a kind of blue. And a purple one. A more purple lavender color. For that one. Then we've got sparkling florals. We got some other. See, berry pie is this one. Red currant, I think it said. That one is it. Yeah, red currant said on the side of that one. Fresh zest, and another one I can't read because the bottle's the other way around. Anyway. Then. We have the glittering ballroom. Golden ribbon and something. So something happened on that. I don't know if it leaked or something. Oh, Masters. I'll send her a screenshot. And Masters from about that one. See if there's. Um, it's supposed to be like that or not. I don't think so, because like none of the other ones are. And here's the all that glitter, white, uh, or ice, whatever. I think this one is this one. So that's nice. So that is this order. Order number three. On to the next order, I guess. Okay, so order four. I have to clear the table. We have these beautiful edibles. This is the what is the name on this thing? 
Romantic rose. Oh. It seems small up here. You will have to see. Then we have this beautiful Shimmering Snowflakes Metal Cutting Die Set. Die cutting and embossing. Cut out intricate and delicate designs for hard paper and even. Six piece. Gorgeous metal die size. Four. 0 by 5.2 inches or 10.2 centimeters by 13.2 centimeters. Oh yes, I never read this one up. Mm. Uh, 6 by 4 inches by... No, 6.4 inches by 2.8 inches or 16.4 by 7.1 centimeters. Mm -hmm. Let's look at that. But I couldn't resist getting this after I saw the uh, Crafters TV demo and stuff because it looks just so pretty, isn't it? I might as well show you a little bit. What? Well, this thing wants to open. Is the question. It is a six piece set because you got the outer outer one, you got the inner cutting one, and you got another cutting one to go with this one in the middle, and you got the tag and the rectangle perfect design in the tag. For this, uh, so it says, get the in the office. Which I find so. Anyway. I can't wait to start having a play with that. So that's a little bit scoop. This, as I kind of briefly hinted at, or Don Wright said, in the, the second, the, Crafts Canyon and Blue Video, which is in case of the issue 3 showstopper. I've got all them inks. So, okay, first up we got Sunrise Glow. Water based and reactive ink to achieve a chalk like finish. Do it, Ink Pad Reactive Hybrid Water Based Ink. Thinking and sniffing. Yes. Mm. It's got color on the side. Okay. So that is your. Okay, then we've got soft hydro, which is like purple. Okay, and then we've got Awakening Forest, which is kind of like a, I guess, forest spring. Then we have Spring Buds, which is like a grass green. green. <laughs> the size of these stacks is very Anything to the eye. Ooh, and we have a waterfall, which is a very lovely blue. Then we have ooh, Midnight Mist. This is like a navy kind of blue. Oh, we got Raspberry Ripple, which is like a pink color. It's a lot of ink. Okay. Ooh, then we've got Sailor's Wake. This is um, kind of a turquoisey blue. We've got Sweet Clementine, which is 
another kind of orangey color just more on the red side maybe if you compare it to the orange down there um then we have rosy apple which is the red Be fun. So, like, how many put it off so you can see off? There, you can see all the colors now. Okay. So, I, I have some ink pads, but when I did contact them about them, they were like a they said that they juice them up as much as possible, and uh, when you run out, you just buy more. There are no reinkers for these for the series, which is slightly eh. But uh, supposedly they last a very long while, so I guess we'll see how long they last. I to start using them. So that is the this magic story. Um that did not come with a little order sheet. But uh, for the previous one, if you wanted to know, the what was it again? Uh, the uh the Moss and Boulder and Die set. Was $8.99 and the Buddha Glue was $25.16. Uh, so I'm guessing these prices were not including the VA tape. I think if I remember correctly. I'm not sure. But these ones, I'm pretty sure this one was like £2 or something. Not, can't remember what that one was. Okay, and here is order five. So we've got a set of three piece low tack tape for when I start die cutting things. This is a um, water based temporary fix clear tape, 90, uh, 19 millimeters by 75 meters per tape. That's in a set of three. That's on the side. Interesting. Great use. Great for use with stencils, masking, inking techniques, as well as temporary fix for die cutting and much more. Is what it says. It's nice that it comes on its own uh, little plastic holder with a little uh, blade to cut the tape. Tape dispenser. That's the word. <laughs> um, six, so uh, I guess I'll just set it up like that. Then I thought I might as well try it. There we go. A glue tape pen. You know, I've never actually bought one before, so it should be interesting to use if I can use it properly. And of course, I bought this and I didn't realize. Only like days later, the doggy tape pen came in, but I couldn't spend anything during that time, so. And, let's see, oh, this one actually came with a, uh, thing, no, what is that, so, uh, let's see, extra strong permanent glue tape pen, three pound fifty nine. Protect tape, three piece, four pound forty nine. Um, Radiant Rose, which I'm about to show you, is two pound sixty nine, and the Enchanting Rose and Blossom Folder is three pound fifty nine. So, first up, we have this beautiful 
Radiant Rose and Dime. It's got a it looks like that, doesn't it? It's got like other products in this in this like whole series. It's got some glitter. I just did the butterfly one too though. But since this is white, you be able to tell by now, I really like roses. So that's that one. And the Enchanting Rose 2D Embossing Folder. Which obviously is in the Once Upon a Time collection. So this is reminiscent to the rose on the Rose. Taking. So, like, here we go. Um, anyway, so that's this. We've got two more to do. So, order six coming right up. Okay, it's not much in here, <laughs> just two little things. I wanted to get up my uh, my thing up to uh, my club inspire up to gold, and for some reason from the last one I didn't calculate properly. So there we are. So we have timeless border, edible rose garden, hence the rose, um, and a two-piece pokey tool for poking. Um, no. yes, well, yes, but, um, it's, uh, this was, uh, one pound seventy nine, and this one was three pound fifty nine. Oh, now this is, uh, Anyway, I believe those, all the prices are without the key. Because that's kind of added at the end of checkout, but, um, anyway, Pokey Tool. Uh, yeah. Okay. Got a, it says, um, rubber tip protector, stainless steel, ideal for precise fine detail carpet. I guess you can also use a carpet tool to, uh, pick up, like, some of the gems to put on your projects too, and is what I've seen. But yes, okay, cool. And then, it's very pretty, edgeables, rose garden. I do like prices. That is a 6.2 inch by 1.6 inch, which is 15.7 by 4.1 centimeter. That's for this one. Also got, um, let's see, butterflies, dragonflies, sunflowers kind of things. Kind of like an edge of But obviously they have more edibles of other things too. More recent one is a bow or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty. So this uh, order number six is really, really tiny. Technically, let me just. The next thing I have to bring over, because it's in a box, over there, I tended to bring it over there, but then, eh, but I'll be right back, see if I can carry it over. Okay, so I managed to bring the box over here. This time we just used plain tape to hold this. I don't want to accidentally cut anything, so I'm being careful.
Does this thing want to put the meat in the mushroom? To be careful, I have a whole load of a whole load of air pockets to open from here. The room's gonna be filled with air pockets. Okay, so oh yes. So the thing inside. I don't know if I should Let's show you a sneak peek or not. I'm not going to be opening it in this, so I'm going to be Well, I'm going to fry your tool. A spectrum roller. Brayer roller tool. Okay. And yeah, so I thought it would be good if I wanted to, you know, think, like fully ink up the background from like a white card stock or something, or. I have no idea really. When you need a quick, smooth color lay down, this roller tool is your friend. You can even pick up and apply multiple colors in one pass to print a unique pattern, create unique patterns, and shaded effects. Okay. And that's basically what I got it for. So you separate your tool. Here is the mini numbers. I also mainly got this for the SD and the RD TH for birthday purposes. This is 0 0.4 by 0 0.4 inches or 0.9 by 0 0.9 centimeters. That's the largest die anyway. And it's a 20 piece so It's just all of those. See? It's sort of, it's got a window. It's going to see it. So that's that. And you can't have the numbers without the alphabets. And this is a 26 piece because there's 26 letters in here, right? There's no block letters, so not really any lower case. So 0.4 by 0.5 inches, 0.9 centimeters by 1.1 centimeters. That's the largest dime uh, dimension. But yeah, uh, well, I can resist. You know, might as well. Um, God, it's a uh, no box certificate on it. Interesting. Okay. That's weird. 
Amazing. Um, okay, so um, I guess I can sort of show you. Yes. Yeah, I'm not gonna open it yet, obviously, because it's still September. I mean, I can't resist not showing you, can I? Ooh, it actually says it on the side in code. Don't see what I just said. See? It says. So you see, so I guess Crafter's Companion, Calendar, Jackson's 23. And this is that. I wanted to take it all out because it'd be probably a pain to get back in. So, do look forward to that. Do look forward to this admin calendar video. Normally, um, the advent calendars I do, which is basically the only advent calendar I do, is the uh, Funko Pop Pocket uh, Harry Potter ones, which I do, you know, in four lots. So I might do this in one video a day, because it's, you know, it's a crafty one, but kind of, you know, should do it one video a day. Yeah, so do make sure to look forward to the advent calendar when I do it. Um, so I'll definitely have to actually break out a die cutting machine and open, do that opening video way before that happens. Probably got a couple months. Um, it's over there on the floor. I don't have to on the desk right now. I mean, I have space to put my videos right now because I need to clean my desk again. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That one was uh, this one. So just put this off to the side. So, I guess that's it. So, I just wanted to do just a, just a minor thing. I just want to show you a minor thing. This is something I made. Oops. When I was uh, watching the, uh, I was watching uh, the uh, handmade gift cross summit. Um, I was in one of the Facebook groups. That was it all going on. So I made this. It's a a piano or accordion fold, the old journal thing. I haven't really done anything in it yet because I'm not sure what to do. But like, yeah. So the first little happy thing I made, the little uh, thing you put. Probably just really just some tiny thing, a little note or whatever inside. But, uh, yeah. It's a pretty good one. It was not exactly <laughs> in shape, but still, I quite like it. Like a thicker card style. But for this one, I made it, um, I think, um, it was like a packing card from uh, my uh, These Do Not Bend stickers for when I send out things. I took it out the bag, I cut it in half, or whatever, that's supposed to be. And uh, then I just covered it with red paper. I don't know if I can really call it cardstock, because it's pretty thin paper. And then the inside white is a tiny bit thicker than what the red paper was. I just did a, it was a thick black cardstock, I think of some kind. 
But yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. The uh, session. I remember when I should make my own, and it seemed simple enough. Sort of. I really hate uh, measurements. But, uh, yes. I also like the idea of this because I could still expand a tiny bit. But also, it does not require you to sew signatures and find it that way. Though, this week you need a lot of spine for more than this. So, this was only 9 A4 sheets, double that, 18, double that, um, 36 pages back to back. So, I mean, it's not bad for a journal, but I guess 36 pages. But anyway, yeah, that was just a random thing. But yes, I'm very happy with my Crafters TV crystal pen. <laughs> just random. Okay, so thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Leave the door for notifications. Over there.